Hello, my name is Sasha Stokes. I am um, spontaneously answering this question for you, so I'm going to keep my camera off for now. Hopefully, one day you and I will meet in a tutoring room, and there I will be sure to share my camera. Okay, so with a problem like this, the first thing you want to do is go ahead and factor out um, this polynomial. So we have three x, and forgive me, I'm not even at home, so I don't really have all of my utensils I use to write on this board, but I am going to do my best with what I have. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is take this polynomial here, and I am just going to factor out this particular uh, coefficient, the number in the front. Okay, um, I cannot factor this unless I remove this three. So to do so, okay, I need to go ahead and divide it into the entire polynomial. Okay, so three goes into three one time, and we're going to take that polynomial there. Let's change the color of it. Okay. We're going to take this particular three, we're going to divide it into the entire polynomial, and it's called our GCF, our greatest common factor, and we're going to put it on the outside of the parentheses, okay? Now let's get a totally new polynomial, okay? So three goes into three one time, so that leaves me with x to the second power. Okay, and then three goes into negative. Don't forget this negative in front. Three goes into negative 18. We're going to say that is negative 6x. And then three goes into 24 eight times, and that is a positive 8. Okay, so there you have your new polynomial here in the middle. And blue, and now we can just go ahead and factor it. So there are some factoring rules you need to remember. Your goal here is to break this into two parentheses. Okay, the x is easy. You just split it up, x and x. Okay, now my job is to take the last number, which is the eight, and I have to find two numbers that I can multiply together to get eight, but add to get negative six. So we have negative, two negatives make a positive. So negative four times negative two is going to give me negative eight, which checks out here. Excuse me, it's going to give me positive eight, which checks out here. And then negative four plus negative two is going to give me my negative six, which is the nest, this coefficient here in the middle. So now that we have those factors, we're just going to break them up into two parentheses. Okay. And I'm not going to forget about this particular GCF that we have out front. Now, your question says, consider the expressions. Expression just means you have... Um, polynomials or you have a bunch of terms put together and there's no equal sign, okay? So consider the expression, show that the two expressions define the same function. So right now we have x minus 4 and 3x. You see this 3x minus 6? All right. So I have my x minus 4. The cool thing, of, so I'm just going to remove that. There's my x minus 4. Sorry. Let's do that first. Let's get that out of there because that matches this one, okay? Now, the cool thing about a GCF is because of mathematical rules, I can place it on any parentheses. So what if I place it on this parentheses? All right, so that's three times X is gonna give me three X. 
and 3 times negative 2 is going to give me negative 6. Now, would you look at that? It checks out to be identical, okay? So let's find a color I have not used. All right, so we have our x minus 4, and we have our 3x minus 6. And if you look, that's exact, they're exactly the same. So once you find the GCF of this particular, once you find the GCF of 3x squared minus 18x plus 24, and then you go ahead and you factor it out, and you end up with this with identical factorization, then hey, <laughs> these are the, this is the same function, okay? Well, hopefully this was helpful. Have a great day.